What am I talking about? Well, I have an Apple phone. Guess what's inside here? It's an Apple tag. It's an Apple tag, All right? So what does that mean? Well, that means I have GPS coordinates. Yes, I do. Hey guys, taking a little break. I was doing some maintenance on the trailer and the mower and sharpening blades and all that. And I, yeah, I did some thinking here as I'm, yeah, we all do that, right? Our minds start to wander. I was thinking of uh, Curtis. Curtis, uh, if you don't know him, is the uh, weed walker, weed walker, weed whacker lawn care. He had his whole trailer stolen um, here last week. I'll link the video or, or his channel on to mine and then you can kind of see. Now, this isn't his first go around. I know of at least two times uh, he stole, they, they got some equipment, this time they got the trailer. I mean, this is an expense. This is an expense that we all have to deal with. So, it's not a question of if they're going to take it. It's a question of when they're going to take it. We know that. Trailers are easy to steal. Now, yeah, you have insurance, but again, you have deductibles, and you know, in this day and age, trying to go find a trailer, um, that's not easy to do. I mean, and then, of course, now you you have customers every single day, nonstop, and it's just issues that we have in this industry. It's kind of the, uh, I guess, the dark horse that uh, we know it's out there. We hear stories all the time. Um, it's unfortunate. And really, there's only two types of, uh, I'm going to call them guys, it could be girls, I don't know, that would steal from you. One is, of course, the guy looking for the quick buck. Quick buck. Going to pawn your stuff. He's going to get 30 bucks for it. And, you know, these are four or $500 machines, right? So, you know, for him to get 30 bucks, yeah, that's beer money. That's drug money, whatever. And then it's the guy that's also in the industry. Maybe their stuff got stolen and they're going to steal it or their stuff is gone um, or broken or they just want to upgrade it's always out there if we leave our trailers unlocked and the open trailers and closed trailers it doesn't really matter uh, if your equipment's easy to get they're gonna get it so you have to lock it up so I started thinking about some things and you know what is my security so couple of things here I'm going to show you let me uh, go around here on the trailer good blue skies guys blue skies anyway doing some maintenance on that so I started thinking what is it that I can do because it's not really anything that I can really prevent if they want it and they have the time and they have the tools they're gonna get it so I have a, a rack here it's a locking rack so it uh, obviously I push that in I can't get that out there's no way I can get that out they can they pull this rack down yeah it's gonna require a lot of muscle uh, but that's one way see it unlocks there and then now of course I, I don't want to pull it out but anyway I can pull it out and that goes the entire rack. So that's good uh, if I use it, right? But that means I have to lock it, unlock it, lock it, unlock it every single time. Okay, security. Or close up my drawer, my drawer, close up my door um, and just lock everything inside. Now, some of these things are not secured. You know, these are not secured. I can, I just, because of pure laziness, I mean, as you can see, I can secure that with a lock. That's what it's designed for. And I probably, I need to. I need to get really good at that. And uh, same thing with this. Again, um, whoops, I missed it. I don't know that. I don't know if that, that's how it works. But anyway, I can lock that. This is already locked. This These all already locked. 
Um, and I have some, of course, some things here I can lock. I'm just kind of playing with this. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I found a new spot for my uh, my uh, steel blower, by the way. So, but how do you secure a trailer? Well, you know, the old famous stuff, right? Yeah, if you don't have your truck on it, then you got the little bolt, right? You got that, and, you know, you secure the, you know, that's, uh, you get that, and of course, then you cause, you know, the wheel locks, right? You know, the more prevention that you do, the better. The bad guys just want to go steal it as quick as they possibly can. They ain't going to monkey with everything. But the problem is, it takes a lot to do this. This, this, this up here. Lock this, lock that, lock, 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 lock. There's everything. But you're not going to prevent them from stealing it, right? You're just going to delay them from stealing it. That's really the conversation here. You're just going to delay them from stealing it. Make it hard for them to steal. So if you're in a uh, storage place and it's you know 3 o'clock in the morning, you're not there, no one's there, that's probably not protected, and not much we can do. Because guess what the tools that they're going to use? They're going to cut your lock off with a battery grinder, right? They're going to cut every one of those locks I just showed you, or even a die grinder. You can put cutting wheels on here. Uh, in fact, here, here's all the tools. So these things are dirt cheap. They probably already have it in their arsenal, and they can cut your locks off within seconds. Look at all that stuff, right? Whether it's stone or you know cutting wheels or... Again, the uh, cutting wheels there. They got diamond saws. Uh, I mean, you you name it. Put it on there. This is so portable and much easier. Change the wheel, cut the thing off. You think these things are going to be stopping you? There's not a chance. There's not a chance. I don't care what locks you have. That's your trailer. So let's just look at this. Sorry guys, it's always one-handed, right? Okay, so cheap lock, right? I don't care if you've got the $300 lock on it. The, uh, I forgot what they call a little wheel. I see people have it. You know what? They cut this. They cut this. This is part of your trailer. Gone. If you ain't stopping it. It's like a tin can. They can rip it out. But the easiest way is just cut these things off, right? There's nothing stopping cutting with a with that grinder. Cut the lock off. Cut this off. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If they find a way, they're gonna do it. Yeah, all those locks I showed you on the inside. Again, doesn't matter, right? They cut this off. They'll cut that thing off. Hell, they'll even cut my. If I'm on a truck, they can cut that off, right? What's holding this, right? The little lock here. Little lock here, right? Cut it off. They can do anything they want to do, if they really want it. It sucks, guys. I know it does. That's our industry, right? It's a quick buck for the guys that are looking for the uh, drug money, beer money. The weekend warriors who can't afford the equipment just want to get, a, get started real quick. Again, I call them beer jockeys. They're just doing it for beer money. They already have another job, but it's on the weekend. They're going to do it. But they need equipment. They need this equipment. There's other alternatives, guys. You know, again, you're not going to prevent them. But so what? They, they take your stuff. You call the cops. What are the cops going to do? They don't know who stole it. You have no evidence. Somebody, it's gone. It's all you know, right? It's gone. What are we going to do? So my suggestion to you is, you know, do all the preventive you can. Slow the guys down. Don't make it easy for them. Lock your stuff up as best as you possibly can. But just knowing it, it can still happen. Uh, but you need to write down, take pictures of every serial number, okay? Catalog it. You've got your receipts. If you don't have receipts, you bought it used. Again, they still have serial numbers, right? You can etch in your name, whatever you want to do. I know, you know, you want to sell these down the road. You don't want to do that. Stickers, yeah, well, stickers, you know, they come off, right? 
there's other things you can do. And uh, I'm gonna put this. Hang on, guys. I'll show you. There's an alternative. Well, that sounds really weird. Um, uh, let's see. Let's use this one. I'm kind of experimenting. Oh, I locked it. Hello. There we go. Yeah, I couldn't even get it in myself. I'm gonna show you. There's some things that you're not gonna prevent them. We know that. Um, you know what? Leave it. Leave it there for a second. I'm gonna unscrew this. I kind of played with it today. Kind of again. I was thinking about Curtis. Oh, the screw deck needs to be cleaned. Oh, it's chipped. Sorry for the noise. So, what am I talking about? Well, I have an Apple phone. Guess what's inside here? It's an Apple tag. It's an Apple tag. All right? So, what does that mean? Well, that means I have GPS coordinates. Yes, I do. GPS coordinates. So, I may not prevent them. Um, find my, look at that. Let me go in the sun here, guys. Oh, my phone is terrible. I did what uh, Big Suns did. I cracked my screen. Let me go to shade, sorry. There we go. So, can you guys see that? There it is. GPS. Don't look at my screen. It's all cracked. I did it this week, same as Big Sons did. <laughs> Dropped it, no case, all that. So, there it is. There it is. So, the story is, guys, you may not be able to stop these guys from stealing you, but you can track them down. You know, and there's other things. You know where it's going to be, whether it's going to be in the pawn shop. If it's a pawn shop, then you can get your stuff back. Don't forget, you're going to need your serial number. The cops are going to need, need you to prove it. You have an air tag. Now, I don't know about Android. I'm sure there's other things you can use. I think there's a th company called Tile. I don't know where you're going to put them. For me, it works out because the new steel, I can put them right inside here. It's hidden. They're not going to know. You know, you can put uh, Velcro, glue, I wouldn't glue it because it's a battery. Um, put, put some Velcro on this, put some sticky tape, whatever, hide it along the side. I mean, they're f four for a hundred bucks. So if they pawn this or they use it on their own, I know exactly where it is. I've got the serial number. I can prove it to the cops because my air tags are right in it, right? Hey cop, here it is, cop, come get it. This guy stole it. I'll get my stuff back. I'll get my stuff back. So, again, just write your serial number because you have to prove it. Take a picture of it, show it to the police, print it out, whatever you need to do. But you got to prove it. It's yours. Otherwise, the cops doesn't know who whose it is. Who's going to prove it, right? So, not only buy air tags, but I've got the registration, the serial numbers, all that stuff. I can prove it. every one of this equipment is mine. Now, can I prove my gas can? No, I can't prove my gas can. Uh, so it's really, we're talking the machines here. I mean, these, you know, these are four or five, six hundred dollars a piece. We know that. The trailer is registered. Again, you can put an air tag. Well, you know, the air tags, if they take the whole trailer and the whole equipment, each one of these equipment have it, right? Or um, just put it on the trailer, right? If you felt secure enough, they're not going to break inside. They're going to more, more likely steal your trailer than they are going to steal stuff on the inside. Then just put AirTag or Tile, I think it's for Android, uh, on your trailer. I mean, you got GPS coordinates. Or if you want to pay for the services, the National GPS Live, 
Uh, I think they're you know one hundred and fifty dollars for a, a unit, and then monthly fees for live GPS coordinates. Now, I can get pretty close. I'm probably 10, 15 minutes away from the Air AirPods, uh, Air Air Tags. Um, so they're they're going to give me a close proximity. So and of course there's going to be downtime. If they're moving, I'm going to get it. So you know, look at it. If you have an Apple product and get the Air Tags, they're like four for a hundred bucks. Uh, and you know, you replace the batteries, you have them forever, so um, it's good. Uh, just make sure that you know you put them in your devices, however, you want to do that trailer, your cars, your bicycles, whatever. Do something to track it because you just want to get your stuff back. Because you know, if you don't know where it is, you don't know who stole it, how's the cops going to help you? You just lost it. Maybe you talk to your insurance company if you have insurance, I suggest you do, but. Either way, I want my stuff back, and I want it back quickly because I've got to mow every single day. I gotta go. I gotta go. I can't go out there and spend two thousand dollars on replacement of equipment. I can't. I'm gonna get my stuff back wherever it is. I'm gonna get it, and I'm gonna get the bad guy. So, just some advice. However, you want to do that. You know, GPS, Air, Apple Air Tags, uh, Android Tile. I think is what it's called. Whatever. You know, just search it, guys. Just search it. But. Definitely write down your serial number. Just just some really good advice. Take pictures of it so that you can show the, the policeman. Here's the stuff. It's in this pawn shop. Here's my GPS coordinates. This guy took it, has received a stolen property. I want it back. Now that's the pawn shop problem, right? I don't care. I got my stuff back. So just some sage advice for you. Protect it. Do the best you possibly can. Try to prevent make it very long for them to try to steal things i mean lock up your trailers lock up do everything you possibly can but just knowing they can break into it they can take your trailer you can't stop them we can help hinder make it longer for them to break in make it impossible and oh by the way one other thing however you got your stuff stored always have security cameras I get alerted every time there's a movement. So if I'm not home, and I park my trailer at home, by the way, guys, that's a little more protection for me. Again, I always have a car in front of it. Um, so again, protection, but I can't stop them from breaking inside, right? Well, I can, sorta. Of. I mean, I get alerts. Um, that's a wireless camera. Uh, it's battery operation. Uh, anytime that there's movement back here, and yeah, sometimes squirrels set it off, but if I'm somewhere and uh, I don't have my trailer with me and it's going off, I know there's a problem. It's either a squirrel or a bad guy. So again, I'm going to rush on back if I see a bad guy, somebody in my yard, somebody in, trying to tip, break into my equipment. I'm going to get there. I'm going to call the cops along the way and say, hey, here's the address. Be there. I'm going to be there with, no, I'm not going to say with what I'm carrying. But anyway, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? Just some, some good advice for you guys. Do what you can to protect it. Uh, watch this all the way through. Like, subscribe. Um, but this is what I do. Um, is it overkill? Yeah, I'm okay with overkill. Uh, I know sometimes when I mow, I don't always lock my trailer. You see those in the videos. I'm in a decent neighborhood. That doesn't mean a guy in the bicycle is driving by can take off my, with my blower. Sure he can. But I've got to be very good at it. i got to start locking this up. So if I'm not using this whole rack, I'm just using the blower, it's a quick thing, key, right? Not a big deal, right? I just have to do it, and I'm kind of lazy at that. I don't do it, so that's my fault. So if my stuff is stolen, that's on me, right? But I know I can get it back. That's what I'm telling you. Do something to try to get it back, because we don't know who stole it. The cop's not going to know who stole it. I don't have their name. Heck, I probably don't even have what they look like. I don't know what they're wearing. I don't know what direction they went. I don't know. But I know where it is now. That's what I'm saying. Do what you can. Spend a few bucks. Android, Apple, you all have it. Uh, GPS, look, investigate. There's some stuff out there you can purchase. I don't know about if you could be as small as the Apple AirTags as I just showed you. But either way, my stuff is protected. I know where it's going to be. I'm going to get it back either on my own or with the police help. Like, subscribe, give me some comments. I'll be happy to answer. 
Um, I got some uh, things out, other things coming up. I don't know. Do you guys like that 360 degree video? By the way, I didn't get a lot of views on. I'm just surprised. I thought it was pretty cool, but maybe not. Maybe you guys don't like this stuff. That's okay. Peace out. Be good.